Hi everyone, with the recent release of texture mods for Fallout 4, I thought I'd just do a quick tutorial on how to install them. You will need to know your file structure for the game and also navigate your INI file. We'll go over this in the video and we're going to use the example using a grey pit boy texture mod. So first what you'll need to do is find your fallout4.ini file. Mine's in users, username, documents, my games, Fallout 4. Now I'm going to open mine up with Notepad++ because I prefer that for editing these sorts of files. But firstly, I'm going to find out if it's read only or not, because if it is, we won't be able to edit this file. So go right click properties and just make sure that read only is not ticked. If you use the Fallout 4 configurator, which allows you to configure things like uh, field of view, etc., that will probably make your any files read only. So if you're using that before you implement textures, just make sure that you're not ticked here for read only. So let's open this up with Notepad++. Now I need to navigate to the line that I need to change. So I'm going to open up a mod page here, and it's for the Grey Pit Boy, which you can find um, footage on in my Fallout 4 mod feature episode two, a Pit Boy special. And it's this line here that we need to edit. So I'm going to copy that out with Control C, go back into Notepad++, hit Control F, the find function, and it pasted that in there nicely for us. Go find next, and there's the line that we need to edit. So let's highlight this, go back to the mod page, and you'll see here that the mod author has kindly put the line in that we need to edit. So let's copy that out. And basically what's this doing is telling the game to load stuff from the textures folder as well as the strings. So let's paste that in here, like so, and now we've got that line in. What you can also do here at this point is add another comma, put sounds and backslash like so. And that will also give the option to have new sounds added to Fallout 4 as well, which I'll be covering in my episode 3 of another sky mod feature. I've got some new sounds for guns to show you. There's been several renditions for new sounds and I'll be showing some of those in episode 3. Now what I need to do is just save this before we exit and come out of Notepad++. Now we need to look at the file structure of where we add these mods to. Now textures will be added to your data folder in your Fallout 4 installation directory. So that's the one that's under your Steam library. So if you open the data folder, and if you haven't got one already, create yourself a textures folder. Now, some mods will come already when you unpack them with the right installation directory. So if I open up the grey pit boy download here, we'll see the mod author has kindly added the data folder in, so we can just drop this into the installation directory if we wanted to. But let's have a look at the folder structure. So we've got data, textures, animated objects or anim objects, then pit boy and then we've got the texture files themselves. So we've got several options here. We can either go straight from the data folder, drop that into the installation and that will be installed or we could just set up the folder structure ourselves. So we've gone through the data folder, then textures, then animated objects, then pit boy and then what we need to do is do the same over here and simply drop these in like so overwrite replace files if you had or someone there already and that will install the mod and that is simply how it's done that is now manually installed these textures into the game you can see all this in the second episode of another fallout 4 mod feature i nearly said skyrim there so that is how you ins manually install the textures if you have any issues please do drop me a message down in the comments and if you have a better way of doing that this process, please do also drop that in the comments as well. I believe this is the process that you're going to have to do for most texture mods at the moment until Nexus Mod Manager and Mod Organizer, etc., come up to speed with how the files are handled in Fallout 4. Otherwise, when that's Im implemented, you'll simply be able to install textures, etc., via Nexus Mod Manager. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please obviously do drop it a like. And obviously stay tuned to the channel for more Fallout 4 mod features in the future. Like I said, episode 2 will be coming out shortly. And that will be a Pip-Boy special looking at quite a few of the new textures available for the Pip-Boy. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.